Now we turn to something we've never done before. And we think it's really something. Here's the context. We launched the beat in 2017, a time of unrest, as Trump upended the government, the nation was roiled, there were clashes that continued as that resistance formed from convictions for Trump's top aides to the backlash of record turnout in 2018 and 2020, to a pandemic, a jobs crisis, a resurgent BLM movement, the end of Roe v. Wade, an insurrection, a land war in Europe, and much more. We looked at all that and we have tried to cover it all for you without getting completely lost in the division or the darkness. And as more people get news on their phones and computer these days, tonight I can share this rare milestone. The beat just hit one billion streams. The media tip sheet, reliable sources reporting on this big billion number, a quote, notable feat for a cable news program. So if you ever wonder, are the facts getting out there? The answer is yes. Beyond the millions of live MSNBC viewers like you, there are many, many people watching our reports and our interviews online, and so we made something special to mark our billion streams. Highlights from all five years of the beat, from Maya Wiley talking down Sam Nunberg to James Carville's rhetorical gifts to Fat Joe covering a Carol King song. This is how we got here and where we might be headed. The premiere of The Beat with Ari Melber starts right now. This is the big story. The first look at previously secret documents. As we said in the campaign world, the haze in the barn now. Now I have to close the barn door before you leave. You know Always. What happened. That's what I said. Let me say it the way Biggie Smalls would say it, Ari. Even when I was wrong, I got my point across. This is so ridiculous. I'm not going to give them every email I had with Steve Bannon and Roger Stone. Are you prepared to be held in contempt and potentially go to jail? Uh, yes. Isn't this ridiculous? No, it's not ridiculous, Sam. I think your family wants you home for Thanksgiving, and I hope you will testify. Why would anybody be surprised with the president's statement? Special coverage of the Mueller report, which is so voluminous. I mean, we've been making our way through it. That is a substantial finding there. What does no exoneration on obstruction mean to you? It means that, the, here's, it, no, what, what does no crime mean also? The reason us three are essentially in there is because of Stone. I okay. get that, I One. get that, but I don't, two, I, I don't, Roger, let Sam finish. Most of it was about Roger Stone. Have you provided any formal counsel to Donald Trump or his aides or accepted any money? What an insulting question. I mean, have I accepted money? For, I'm a liberal Democrat. It's a great honor to present a constitutional argument against the impeachment. I mean, you wrote a report for them do, to impeach. I gave them that, all right. This is great. All right. This I is great? It, it is. I feel like ask. I'm talking to a lawyer. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Well, so am I. I don't ever remember the president ever asking me to get involved with Jeff Sessions or the Department of Justice. And that was not true, was it? I have no obligation to be honest with the media. I did not believe him then. I do not believe him today. We are live in Manchester, New Hampshire. You can see some of the energy all around me. The reason I went for Bernie is um, because of MSNBC. And very go on <laughs> the stock Bernie cynicism, cynicism that I heard from a number of people. It made me angry enough. I said, "Okay, Bernie's got my vote tonight from Broward County, Florida. We just want justice. Why vote? What's that? Well, you know, dogs. Dogs have a lot of rights. They don't have the right to vote. I am officially declaring a national emergency. We're dealing with a very formidable virus. Truth itself helps combat the spread of this virus. We have this information, which we didn't have until today. He knows he can't win. Joe Biden is president-elect. Donald Trump is the loser. One song in particular has been playing on a loop, FDT, which boils down to basically forget Donald Trump. I'm from a place where you probably can't go. Speaking for a people that you probably ain't know. Pressure built up, and it's probably going to blow. It's not fraudulent electors, Ari. It's alternate electors. We just saw protesters walking through Statuary Hall. It's vital to understand for preventing it from happening in the future. We had uh, over 100 congressmen and senators on Capitol Hill ready to implement the sweep. Do you realize you are describing a coup? No, they put me in leg irons, they stick me in a cell. He has so much knowledge to share with a journalist, but he refuses to share that knowledge in response to a lawful subpoena. That's punitive. That, that what they did to me today violated the Constitution. The laws aren't for everybody. 
They're not. You have no right to put your knee on that neck. We don't think that enough is being done about racial terror. We want to sit at the table and say, like, how do we get there? With effort, we can change history. It's about um, trying to make sure everybody gets treated like humans. Protesters have gathered ever since this draft opinion came down. We are angry. That is why we're speaking out. We're the aftermath. We're the casualties of war. When you see what a crack baby looks like, it's a different feel. I can't tell you the effect that had on me. It was, it was, it was internal. All's my life I has to fight. He's using your work, all's my life I had to fight. Well, I think he's understanding that that is the truth of it, especially for poor people and for people of color. I was just naive <laughs> and stupid for not going. Yeah. What brings the tears? It was a hard fight. It's important to be an artist and to, to speak truth. The truth is very rarely positive. Obama did. <laughs> Obama, did. Obama did. Well, let's start there. And, 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 and Ari did. A lot of my favorite lyrics have kind of started as a joke. Find your way. It can be done. You have to remind yourself of the kid on the bedroom floor with the Beatles records. Wu-Tang Clan. Ah, ah, yeah. Harry. <laughs> we can make a big difference. I have to speak up if I see any injustices. You got to taste this. Which one? You got to taste this. It's the hardest thing to catch a wave. Oh, That's man. life, man. That's life. Delicious. Yeah. I love it. You have to have a center no matter who you are. Our whole battle at the beginning was sexuality. How wonderful this experience is. One of my favorite channels on the television. <laughs> Save the world for humans. You are part of the natural world. Earth is in space. <laughs> and we're all on Earth. Oh, my God. Well, there goes the red wave. We're in a cold civil war in this country. I do think that comedy uh, should be criticized. It's dangerous for me to even step into the political arena. Poopity scoop. <laughs> this is a disaster. Snoop Doggy Dog. Life is what you make it. Girls just want to have fundamental rights. Music really is you kind of defining who you are. It'd be accepted more when you rap it than just typing it. You, like, you speak through your art. Yeah, I speak through my art. Thank God for the artists who, you know, have the courage to speak truth to power. I'm going to de defer to you and, and Mr. Cube. Music is a language. I'm on the air with Ari. Heart beating like a Ferrari. You really got a problem with me. You can never sit in this Ferrari with me. On MSNBC, I got Ari with me. So what? We smoke weed, young, wild, and free. Amen. I will start with Jay-Z. I hate to quote Jay-Z again. Just kidding, I don't. <laughs> Maybe that was just Mitt Romney's way of saying, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. This entire poem about America's drug war and Jay's own path. Ari, that was an amazing piece. When somebody break it down in that way, um, you know, we all feel seen. Ari Melvin, Rap Genius, Volume 2, Just Jay-Z Quotes. Jay-Z always says the streets is watching. The streets is watching. The street is watching. Plead the fifth. When it comes to the fam, I'm like a dog. I never speak, but I understand. Ari Melvin, Rap Genius, will just not f***ing stop. Young Thug has said... Of course. <laughs> I didn't kill anybody. But I had something to do with that body. You're one of our most quoted artists here. Yes. Wasn't it Rick Ross who said every day is another opportunity to touch the paper? Rick Ross, who has a line where he says, shoe box, no shoes in it. Uh, and the implication is there's drugs in the shoe box. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm, I... <laughs> Can you pay my automobiles? Truth hurts. Would you poof and disappear like some of my friends? <laughs> As Drake famously said to his imitators, the big you is like a mini me. Sometimes you gotta go a little crazy. Wasn't it Pusha T who said, I believe there's a God above me. I'm just the God of everything else. Mm -hmm. I don't like it if it don't bling bling. That clumsy attempt at Hotline Blink. Ripple has been a, a theme tonight. Uh, shout out to the Grateful Dead. Bill Gates don't dangle diamonds in your face when he Microsoft in the place. Put some respect on my name, as it were. Who said that, Ari? Who said that? Birdman. Oh, okay. 
I don't try to be showy. And if you don't know, now you know. Hip hop said, do the ladies run this? Yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to fall back. I think you need to fall back and not give your guests homework <laughs> before they come on the program. <laughs> they just don't build chairmans like they used to. So he is my boy. I don't know about it. I didn't hear it. I mean, what can you say? I just want to send this message out to Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I don't always see these in advance. It's too late, baby. Yeah, it's too late. <laughs> Congratulations really on this scoop, man. I'm super jealous. <laughs> when can I meet Rachel Maddow? <laughs> I was hoping for Joy Reid, but go ahead. <laughs> Bring this face on the air. <laughs> Ratings goes up. Twitter loves us, man. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Only new show with a lighter. Only news show with a lighter. Only news show with a lighter. Thank Ari. you very much, Method Man. You're one of ours, brother. Kamala Harris is. Almost done with this interview. <laughs> I'm the original beatnik on your show. Oh, we got another friend too, Ari. <laughs> Don't tell CBS. <laughs> Get close to Mike, though, so come he's involved. On, come on, you, 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 this is, come this on. Is, this is, no, no, this wait, is, wait. This is ending toxic masculinity <laughs> right here. It's like they said, Mero. Don't worry if I write rhymes. I write checks. That's it. That's it. Thank you for going on this ride with us. Thanks to our hardworking team. This wide range of guests you just saw, our leaders, Rashida and Caesar, and the way they lead a newsroom that backs facts, reporting, and diversity. The only thing left is for you to weigh in.